So if you guys aren't already familiar with my channel, if you're a returning subscriber, I love you guys. Thanks for coming back. And if you are new to my channel, I do everything from uh, beauty reviews, product reviews. I just did my very first WTF with the French beauty products video. So I tried out a whole bunch of weird products. If you guys have not seen that video, I will be linking it up above here in the card as well as in the description box below. But today I thought it'd be fun to do just to get ready with me type of video. So if you guys are down for that, definitely keep on watching this video all the way through. And if you like this video and content like that, definitely think about subscribing to my channel here. So I did end up um, doing a little perusing at Ulta com and buying a few items so I thought you know what I'm gonna put them on my face today and we're gonna try them out and see how everything goes I also ended up picking up a new foundation which I'm really excited to try out it's the new Zoeva foundation this is the authentic silk natural luminous foundation super excited to try this out today I am probably gonna do a part two with like a full like review, which I do normally with my foundations. Today isn't the day for that because I just have so much going on later that I probably won't have time to report back to you to tell you how, you know, this is holding up. I'm gonna do a part two kind of full in-depth review of this foundation, but today I wanted to try it out, just put it on my face, slather it on, and see how it goes and if I like the initial coverage that it gives me and the finish that it gives my skin. Also, I have to say, if you see this red mark here on my forehead, I didn't get punched. I didn't get into a cat fight. Nope, nope, nope. I actually burnt my forehead with a curling iron this morning. Yes, that's what that is. It is a nice little burn mark. <laughs> What's been going on with you guys? I wish I could have like a two-way conversation right now and basically just hear what's been going on in your lives. How are the holidays treating you so far? I cannot believe that we are already in like almost mid-December. I feel like this year has literally blown by. I'm not ready for the holidays. Like I feel like normally I'm pretty prepared for the holidays. I like to decorate my house and just make everything all cozy and and just feeling, you know, the holiday spirit. But this year is a little bit different um, just because we've had so much going on this last month. We've had stuff going on with our house that we are currently in the midst of renovating and uh, fixing up right now. We're living in this rental here and we are gonna be moving back into our house by the end of this month. So I just didn't wanna do all the work of putting up Christmas lights and decorating the entire house just to tear everything down again and move into our house. So this year we just have our Christmas tree up and that's about it. So we're keeping it really simple. But you know, this time of year is absolutely my favorite. Normally I love to go ham and I decorate everything and I put all my decorations out and like everywhere you go in my house, you get a little sense of the Christmas spirit. However, this year is just not that year for us. So it's all good. I can be patient and wait for next year. But yeah, I wish I could hear from you guys. How is everything going for your holidays? Are you all decorated out? Are you ready for the holidays? Have you done your Christmas shopping? Let me know in the comment box below so we can have a two-way conversation here. We're gonna try the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Wow, that is very, very full coverage. So far, so good, I like that. I also ended up picking up this Fenty Beauty Precision Makeup Sponge, and I got this from Sephora. I am gonna crack this open, and we are gonna try it out today. I normally use my Beauty Blender, and then I found a really good dupe, which is the Danielle Creations Beauty Blender Sponge. It is so similar to the Beauty Blender that is now my new favorite, but they're hard to find. I found mine at Ross. I've also seen them at Nordstrom's Racks and some other discount stores. But this is a little bit less expensive than the Beauty Blender being $16 versus $20, and it feels really good so far. So I have high hopes that this is gonna be another new favorite makeup sponge for me. So you guys, this sweatshirt right now, <laughs> 
I totally feel like a soccer mom in this sweatshirt. I feel like it's one of those like grandma type of sweatshirts, but it's super soft and really cozy. I, you know, I don't care if I look like a soccer mom. I just thought maybe some of you guys were thinking that. And before you drop it in the comments, I already know. It looks like a soccer mom sweatshirt. Let's go ahead and move forward with the foundation. The Zoeva Luminous Finish Foundation. We're gonna try the 160 Neutral in the in faith and let's have faith that this is going to work for me okay so i like this makeup sponge for the fact that it has that flat side i feel like that's doing a really good job of patting in my foundation um and it does have like a wider area where you can really work in your foundation. I do really like that. It definitely has a luminous finish to this, so um, I am liking that so far. It might go away after I powder my face, so let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. So you guys, I did a poll on Instagram, and by the way, you guys, if you're not already following me on Instagram, go head over to Instagram and follow me there. It's the same name as my channel name, Girl Got Glow, but I did do a poll, which was pretty cool. I wanted to ask you guys, um, if you wanted to see a story time video or, you know, hear a story time video. And so I'm going to be filming a story time here soon. I have one that is pretty juicy and pretty interesting. It has to do with an ex-boyfriend of mine. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are, um, interested in story time videos, definitely stick around and stay tuned for that video which will be up on my channel very very soon. I don't know what is happening right now you guys but after powdering my face some of the foundation is just like blotted away. Um, I'm not sure if it was picked up by my brush or or what is going on here and with other foundations that is not something that I've seen happen before. So it doesn't look bad. It is just a little bit patchy on my cheeks. So once I do blush and bronzer and all that, um, maybe I'll be able to camouflage that a little bit. But just something to be aware of is that it did kind of lift up on my high cheek areas here, which is kind of weird. So the palette that I'm gonna be uh, applying to my eyes today is the new BH Cosmetics Fairy Lights Palette. This looks so cute, you guys. This is what the palette looks like. I absolutely love the raised texture glitter. It's got this iridescent glitter. This is so, so cute. I just went onto the Ulta website, by the way, and I did pick up this palette at full price. It was $20, and right now, you guys, like right, right now, it's $12. I kind of wish I would have waited for it to go on sale. But anyways, this is the palette that I am going to use today. I think it is adorable, super cute. I've used BH Cosmetics eyeshadows in the past. I do really think that the quality and performance is really good for a, a brand that is in that like lower tier price point for a full palette. Um, but this is the inside of the palette here. I absolutely love everything about this palette. I think that the color story is so fun. There are some really beautiful shimmer shades. There's some mattes that are very workable. I mean, you can basically create anything from like a day-to-day -day makeup look using some of these matte shades and even some of the uh, low sheen shimmer shades to like a really ramped up evening look. I just think that this is a really fun palette, you guys. So I'm excited to put this on my eyes right now. So I will be including swatches of this whole palette at the end of this eye look. And so if you wanna see all the swatches, just hang tight and you'll see it at the end of the video. So I think I'm gonna start here um, for my transition. This is in the color Precious. This is a really beautiful, like a neutral brown. I really like it. It looks a little bit taupey as well. Almost even has like a little bit of a purple undertone to it, but it doesn't appear purple, but it does have a bit of like a cool purple undertone to it. Every single time I film, all of a sudden somebody is like cutting wood or mowing their lawn or blowing the leaves out of their front yard. Drives me crazy. This, this year has been crazy. We've been out of our house for a year now because we had major water damage in our, in our property. So our house that we own, we had 
water damage and it has been just a nightmare to try and get contractors and trying to get the work started and trying to get just the project going just took so long you guys it has been insane california was hit really hard because um of all the fires and you know our house actually the water damage that happened in our house happened like days before the napa fires last year it was just impossible to find a contractor you guys it has been nuts but anyways we found a contractor Everything is in process. They are repairing and renovating basically our house as we speak right now. And I am just so excited to finally get back into my home and put it back together. Basically it's gonna be moving twice in a year. So we moved into this property here and then we're moving back into our home and we're also gonna have to put it back together again. But I thought it would be a really cool opportunity to do some, uh, some decor videos for you guys and just film you know putting a room back together or decorating a room and I'm really looking forward to that and I'm also really looking forward to getting back into my old office in my filming room and I had just basically finished that room and I was so excited and then I had to move out and that room has now been empty for the last year so it's gonna be really fun putting the room back together I have some design ideas that are gonna change up the look of the room from what it was before and so it's just gonna be fun putting together my filming room in my studio and my slash office and then being able to show you guys what it looks like. I think that would be really fun. If you guys are like excited for a video like that, definitely um, drop me a comment in the comment box below. And um, that way I'll know, you know, what you guys are looking forward to. And it also helps encourage me and keep me motivated too on this YouTube journey. So I use Angelic for underneath my brow bone. I think that's a really nice brow bone highlight color. It's obviously matte, which I love. I think it's, it's really, you know, these colors are blending out really nicely and blending together really nicely. So, so far you guys, I'm liking this palette a lot. Ooh, this color is really pretty. This is called Enchanting. That is pretty. I think I'm actually gonna use this color here, Enchanting. It is blue, but it also is a little bit more of like a slate gray blue, and I think that will look really fun with this eye look. Ooh, I like that color a lot, you guys. It makes this eye look look a little bit more icy. All right, I'm gonna dip into this color here called Marvelous, and I'm gonna deepen out my crease just a little bit. This looks like a, a warmer black tone. It's not quite black. It almost looks like the darkest brown on the verge of being black that there is. And I'm just gonna deepen out this outside V area, basically bringing this and extending out my outside corner to kind of pull my eye out a bit. I'm gonna add some concealer onto my lid. I'm such a mess, you guys. I'm getting makeup everywhere. I'm going to use the color Brilliant here because I just have to. I don't know if this is gonna even go with this eye look at all, but it's just so pretty, you guys. I have to try this color out. It is gorgeous. That is what it looks like there. It's really interesting. It's almost like a gray, a gray beige with a pink shift to it. It's a really unique color. Ooh, yes. Oh yeah, she's pretty. She is a pretty color. She is pretty. I'm obsessed with this palette. I'm obsessed, I am obsessed, I am here for it. It's giving me all the feels right now. Like I am really loving, 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 loving it. Um, go out and buy it right now. Like I'm gonna say that right now. Go out and buy this palette. It is so, so good. By the way, this video is not sponsored whatsoever by any of the companies that I'm using on my face right now. But this palette, you guys, it's given me the feels. I'm like really loving it so, so, so much. Okay, so I do want to deepen out my lower lash line. I'm actually gonna go in with this fun purple color from ColourPop. This is their cream gel liner in the color Piggy Bank. So I did go ahead and uh, pop on some lashes, my Ardell 811s, which are my favorite. I also applied some nude lipstick to balance out the 
the eye look because it's so glittery and so like it's 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 there right this eye look is there but I am really feeling so good about this eye look I'm loving loving this eyeshadow palette it is giving me those fairy vibes I mean I feel like I should be like in an enchanted forest somewhere like the ice queen or something like it really is throwing me those vibes so I totally get how they named it fairy lights and why they named it that but I am really loving this eyeshadow palette a lot for $12 you guys or even $20 it is definitely worth every penny and I'm super happy that I picked it up. So this is the top four shades. This is Brilliant, Darling, Luminous, and Glistening. Beautiful, just so, so pretty, you guys. Okay, so now we have Sultry, Precious, Angel, and Radiant. Let's do swatches on my hands that's what it looks like now we have divine enchanting which is the one that i wore on my eyes today gleaming and mesmerize oh my gosh this would be an awesome eye look as well i could just imagine using all four of these for an eye look so there is it swatched on the hand and again just so beautiful Okay, so we have Rare, Twinkling, Muse, and Adorn. So good. And then the very last three colors, we have Marvelous, Enamored, and Passionate. So this is a black that I laid in my outer V. So as you can see, it is black, but it also is almost like a brown black. I absolutely love that. It just went on the eye so well. These mattes, you guys, are actually formulated really, really nicely. I mean, they swatch so easy right now. I am so impressed with this palette. I keep saying that because I just can't get over the fact that this is literally a $20 palette. I definitely recommend this palette. I think it is amazing. I cannot wait to dig into um, this palette even more and do some more eye looks. I can't wait to use these pinks and these blues. So if you guys wanna see another video of me using this palette and maybe doing two or three eye looks in a single video, definitely leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to put that video together for you guys. But anyways, that is the end of this video. I gotta get ready, I gotta get, well, I gotta finish getting ready. I gotta get dressed, go ahead and do my hair for date night. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. It lets me know that you guys like this content and that you guys wanna see more videos from me. I love you guys so, so, so much. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day or evening, and I will catch you guys on the next video. I love you. Bye. Mwah.